Welcome back to the Learn It channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to loft. Stay tuned to the end of this tutorial where I will teach you a special technique that will improve your efficiency in Fusion 360. Also, we would love your help in considering buying us a coffee or becoming a patron. Links in the description will navigate you to how you can help. As you can see on the screen, we have a part, we have a model that one user on a forum asked how they can loft this body to the main body. And they drew these lines as well. These are not my lines. These are lines that they drew. I will post a link uh, down below in the description so you can check out his post that he requested help with. Well, he said that he was a 15 year AutoCAD user and still trying to learn Fusion 360. So here he is trying to make this part, but could not figure out how to connect these two bodies together with a loft. So that's what this tutorial is going to do. We are going to talk about how to do this simply. But just before we start, take a look at his model and try and pinpoint what's wrong with it. I'll give you a few seconds. Did you notice anything? Well, I noticed something right away. I looked at his picture really closely and I noticed over here, we have a body which is shelled and this body is solid. That is one dead giveaway why lofting would not work for him. So let's leave this part open. This was approximately the picture that he sent, but let's design our own part. You'll learn some things along the way how to design this very quickly. So let's open up a new file there. So to make things easy, I always recommend creating your components first. So in this instance, we are going to have a body component. We're going to have that offset uh, front section here as a component, and then we will connect them later together. So let's go back there and create our components. Let's just name it component one and component two. Great, now let's make sure we activate component one and get drawing. So let's select our XY plane. We're going to do a center rectangle here. Let's just do a generic figure of two inches by six inches. And we will finish our sketch. Now let's press E for extrude. And remember, we can go one direction here, but I always like doing symmetric around our origin, mirroring it around our origin if at all possible. So let's go symmetric. And instead of two inches one way, two inches the other way, let's select whole length over here for our measurement. And now it's two inches total. Let's go okay. Now let's activate our second component. And this will be this body over here that we make. Now I don't know what the user specified these dimensions as, so we're just gonna call it three inches by three inches. Let's do that. We're gonna hide our original component. Let's create another body over here, center rectangle. We're just gonna call this three inches by three inches. And remember tab goes in between the dimensions. There we go. Once we've locked them in, we can press enter. And I'm going to extrude this again. E is our shortcut. And let's just bring it over, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. There we have it. Now let's activate our entire assembly make our component one visible. Now what I'd like to do is move this feature approximately into this location right there. And of course, I don't know what the original user specifications for this is, so let's just estimate. The principles are the same with lofting. So for this, we're not gonna use the joint command because it's not easy to create an angle for the joint. So we are going to select move. And we're gonna do point to point here. So let's move in here. We're gonna select our body and now our point. Well, let's just hide component one there. Origin point is gonna be right in the middle and then component two. Let's go over here. Perfect. Let's go okay and now let's move it again. So we're gonna select that body. Now, instead of point to point, we're going to go to free move and our pivot point is gonna be right in the center. Let's hide component one there, pick it on the face. We can make component one visible. 
let's just, oh, this is our pivot point. We want to lock our pivot point by clicking done. Now we can move our second component over. We can angle it. Let's angle it on a 20 degree angle. We'll move this over. Doesn't really matter at all is the same. There we go. Now it's right in line with that profile. Perfect. All right, let's go okay. So remember with the original body, one of the issues that I saw was wrong was that this body is hollow. So let's just make that hollow. Well, let's fill it at first. I'm just going to fill it those four. If we have in our selection filter, select through selected, well, we can pick that edge without having to rotate our body around. We can just pick that edge just like that. So let's call this 0.125. And now what we can do is let's shell it. Let's just go 100,000 shelling. Well, we can fill it these corners as well. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. We'll call that 0.125. Let's just make sure that this is shelled all the way through. We don't want to shell it like a box like that. We want to shell all the way through. So hold down command and pick that other face. This will shell all the way through. So if he's trying to loft between these two features, we will definitely get an error. So let's just try that loft. Boom, we're going to pick that. And then we'll pick that surface. And this is what comes up here. The loft could not be created. Try changing all sorts of things here. Well, we've got this gigantic flat surface going to a shelled surface. So this is not going to work for us no matter what we do. Let's just go cancel there. So there's a couple different options. We can shell this. Let's try that. Let's just shell that first of all. We'll call that 0.1. Now let's see if we try and if we can loft it. Let's select that profile and this profile. And what do we know? We've got another error. So let's not do that. Let's get rid of our shelling. Now let's try and loft between the two. And there we have it. So between a solid body to a solid body, uh, this works in this instance, where sometimes we would be able to loft the other way as well. So this is looking great. Now, according to the original model though, We've got this shelled body. So how can we do that here? Well, we've actually got two bodies. We've got component two body and we've got component one body. So let's hide component two. Now let's shell. Let's call this point one. That does it. Let us hide component one and make component two visible. And let's try and shell this too. And let's call that point one. Well, there we have it. We've got a completely shelled dual components right there. And now we can combine them together just like so. That's well, perfect. So that's one way to get around that issue. If you come up with one lofting issue, we'll try and find a simple way around it. Try and devise a new plan. Uh, try making a solid body and then creating and then shelling it. We could also, let's go back in time here. Let's get rid of that combine, get rid of all the shelling. Let's combine them first. And now let's try and shell. We'll pick those two surfaces, point one. Well, there we go. We can shell all the way through when the bodies are combined together. Now, one issue that might come up is our thickness might be too much. Let's try and go point two inches. All right, so now we've got an error saying, well, wait a second, no, you can't do that, that's too much. So we can find the minimum value here by going, let's go one, two, five. Nope, that doesn't work for us either. So it looks like point one is around the sweet spot to create this part. Now is a little bonus for this, let's just talk about the handle really quick. Uh, creating this handle might be very difficult for some, well, let's make one very, very, very simply here. Let's just go back in time all the way to the beginning. There we go. We can even go after the fillets. That's no problem. 
Let's select our first component and create a sketch on the top surface. We'll just create one diameter. This is going to be the diameter of our handle. Let's go three set. Well, let's go half an inch. We'll create a dimension between those. Let's say one inch. And let's create just a point over here. Great. And we will call these the same dimensions, one inch. We're going to constrain them horizontally to the origin. And let's finish our sketch. Now let's create another sketch on our XZ plane. So let's just hold down our left mouse button and then we can pick XZ. Great. Now this is the secret. If we bring our view cube just off to the side, we can create a line. And let's just create our handle profile right here. Let's do that. This is going to be, well, two inches. Let's call it two inches exactly. Great. Now, what's the issue? Oh, it's not locked. So remember, if it's blue, we know that it's not fully constrained. So let's just constrain it to that point. Well, this is horizontal. That's no good. So perfect. We need to select the coincident constraint. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll go two inches high. And again, this is not fully constrained. So one of the issues why it's not being constrained is because we haven't projected this point. It can find that point. It's on the plane, but we need to press P to project. And then we can project that point onto our sketch. And now our line will snap to it. There we go. It's black. Perfect. So let's create our profile here. Let's go finish sketch. Now this is the really cool thing. We're going to press create and go sweep. Let's pick our profile and our path. And look what happens. We've got a perfect handle right there. So here we have it. We've got the finished component. We can just shell it as well. And I hope that explains how to do lofting pretty easily. This is a specific case scenario of one user's issue of trying to create a loft between those two, uh, and he couldn't do it. So anyways, we did it in this tutorial. Lofting can be sensitive in trying to make it just right, but try different solutions. And that's what I've done. And this is one easy way that I figured it out. So say, for example, he wants this front closed for some reason. Well, we can do that in a number of different ways. The easiest way is let's create a sketch here on that face. Let's close our sketch and then we can just extrude it now. There we go. Let's pull it in. Hundred thou join. Now it's closed. But the rest of the body is completely shelled. So there we go. Hope you've benefited from this tutorial. If you have, please consider liking, please consider subscribing, please consider hitting the notification bell so that you can be updated with new tutorials from the Learn It channel. Until next tutorial, hope you take care and hope to see you soon.